Well, welcome back to NJ Today. The Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure has raised over a billion dollars internationally to work against the ravages of breast cancer. And with me are two heroes, in my view, uh, as it relates Thank to you. helping that effort here. Deb Belafato, welcome to you. Oh. You are the chapter chairperson or, or the founder of the North Jersey chapter have done amazing things, and, and let's start with that. We've got the Race for the Cure coming up, coming to West Orange, New we Jersey. We do, how about that? And the Race for the Cure, as many people hopefully realize, is the signature event of Susan G. Komen, and it is how we are ultimately going to cure this disease. Um, and it's coming right here. I love when you say that, that we're going to cure this disease. And, uh, and let me bring in Tina DeHaan. Tina, welcome to you. How are you? And you've got a very uh, unique role today, uh, not a survivor, as, as Deb happens to be, 23 years survivor, thank God, but, uh, but someone that can help us learn uh, through a grant through St. Barnabas now, I believe, uh, as to how we can prevent breast cancer, notwithstanding that it's not always so easy to afford the expensive medical tests. No, because uh, I was affected by the economy, uh, loss of job, as well as my health insurance benefits. And uh, instead of uh, just, I was very concerned, you know, and I had moments of humiliation and embarrassment. But with speaking with a lot of people who were involved, I, you know, became proactive by just going back to square one and going to St. Barnabas where I had my normal screening anyway and just called them up and explained to them my situation and you know hope that it would get better but at that moment they were just like very kind and treated me with no difference uh, having insurance or without having insurance. Well, you know, it speaks uh, incredibly well to Barnabas as far as permitting that uh, as opposed to just being worried about, you know, collecting dollars. Uh, and it speaks well to your character to be here to share that with everybody. Well, I'm really happy that the North Jersey affiliates have granted the money there because it was just very easy. But it's all about being informing women, you know, and educating them and not having them stay home and ponder their thought. They just need to call their place where they had their screening and find out about the fundings that are available because there are. And it's just no different. It's very normal. Uh, they don't treat you any different. You're not put in a different room. Um, they're very personable and everything is confidential just like it was when they went before. Well, well, well Deb, let me turn to you now. And, uh, you know, as we, we deal, and I complimented as I should, uh, you know, Tina for her courage to come forward. You're around so many courageous people. Uh, talk about uh, survivors and what many of them do as it relates to getting involved with the Race for the Cure to help raise the funds. My pleasure. Um, and thank you, Tina, You're for being welcome. so forthcoming and so honest um, and realizing that every woman has a responsibility to take care of themselves and we have to be proactive. And um, Susan G. Coleman, the mission is to end breast cancer. But the way we do that and what makes us so unique and so important is our community-based funding. And because of that community-based funding, Tina was able to get the level of quality care that every woman is deserving of. There's, there are no, you know, this disease knows no boundaries, no, no ethnicity, no socioeconomic. It doesn't understand any of that. So that's the beauty. for the most part, it's women. And for the most part, it is women, although there are approximately 1,800 men a year diagnosed with breast cancer. But it's families. You know, it's women who take care of families. So we're it. And, um, and because of Susan G. Komen and their formula of 75% of the monies that we raise from this race for the cure on May 15th will stay right here in the nine counties in northern New Jersey. And those funds will be dispersed to ensure that programs like Saint, the program at St. Barnabas will be sustained. Um, it's and sadly, private frankly, funds. from a statewide level, the uh, you know women's health care in general, particularly in community-based placement and funding, you know, is under attack and shouldn't be. And so, it's even more important that we make certain we raise these monies privately, so exactly access is exactly. there. Exactly. So again, you know, the seventy-five percent that stays local is so impactful. It's touching the lives of 
any woman, whether they're living in Essex Fells, whether they're living in Newark, the, we, are, we are providing um, the opportunity for, to save lives. And then the other 25% is funding research because we know that ultimately global research is going to cure not just breast cancer, it's going to cure multiple cancers. You, you know, Deb, I hate to get into statistics. There's an old adage about, you know, 100 people dying being a statistic and one person dying, you know, being a tragedy. Uh, talk to me just about the, the raw numbers that we deal with as far as how many women are diagnosed and, and frankly mm. succumb over the years to the ravages of breast cancer. The crazy thing is, in the, our state of New Jersey, one in seven women mm. will be diagnosed in their lifetime with breast cancer. So, so just think of the seven women that are closest to you, your daughters, your mom, your you know, wife, uh, and, you know, nieces. And I know you, you're, you have a world full of beautiful women. <laughs> yes, that's so true. So it's, it's something that matters to all of us. And every three, minute, every three minutes, a woman is diagnosed. Every 13 minutes, a woman dies from this disease. So I'm one of those lucky, lucky human beings that 23 years ago, it could have been a very different outcome for well, me. Well, there's a reason for you having survived because now what you've I done with so. that uh, lesson, you. if you will, to, to be able to just spread the, uh, the great sense of community and, and resources uh, has been incredible. Let's talk about that. Let's get excited for the walk, the Race for the oh, Cure yeah. is coming out. May 15th. Yes. We start uh -huh. a team, come on out. That's right. How do you do it? Do you have a team of your own? Yeah, well, you know, I'm supporting my daughter's team. She has a small little business in the city, and uh, I've been doing it ever since she's gotten involved, ever since we've met Deb, and it's just a wonderful... Because she worked at Coleman. Yep, because she worked at Coleman, and <laughs> I met Deb through another, you know, gathering, but um, that's another story. But uh, it's wonderful because women, men, children, aunts, nieces, grandmothers, they're all work, you know, working together. Uh, some who are, you know, going through the disease. Some who are just being, you know, educated about helping and raising money. And some are also, you know, just people that may have, you know, had people that passed on. Well, you know, Tina, I'm on the Lisa Taffro team, and happily to say that she's, you know, a three-year survivor now. And uh, but how, if I don't necessarily have a connection and I'm home and want to be involved, do I get involved? Now what? The you computer. call the Komen office, which is, is located in uh, Summit, New Jersey, and we extend to everyone an invitation to join us that day. You go on our website, komennorthjersey.org slash race. There's everything you could possibly need to know about registering for the race. Your participation as a volunteer is strongly encouraged. Every, everything but the date. What's the date? May 15th. May 15th. Sunday, May 15th. Essex County Sports Complex. As many of us longtime Essex the County zoo. people know, <laughs> it's the zoo, it's Cody, it's South Mountain Reservation, it's the old deer paddock, it's all that. Hoda Copy is going to be the honorary chairperson, Thank so we're all going to get to meet her. Up. We are. We are. And she's a hero. She is, she is part of this sisterhood, and she is a true true hero and we are thrilled and delighted that she'll be with us that day. Well, when you call her a true hero, you know how I feel about you and everybody thank involved you. in this effort. You thank are you. truly the heroes and thank, thank you for you. what you do. We'll all be there supporting you and it will be a great day on a lot of levels, a wonderful event to feel good and positive and, and a day that we're going to raise millions of dollars. Can I add thank something you. to this? If there's ever a time to think outside the box, this would be the time to take care of yourself, early detect, you know, detection, early screening, detection. and you know, not to be afraid, just pick up the phone, make an appointment, and it's there. Well, with that, Tina, we thank you, and again, thank you both. Now.